drinking again yesterday. Yeah, I saw the. We got back late last night, and I saw all the messages. Good morning. So my husband went and picked me this up yesterday. I ordered it online. I got me some white fatty. The problem is this has polypropylene in it. This, oh, stop it, freaking computer. Why is it doing that? It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Good morning, ladies. Anyways, this shit is so expensive at Fabricland. I went on to Joanne's Fabrics and ordered the 100% cotton stuff. Look, it just keeps doing it. I ordered the 100% cotton stuff. This has polypropylene in it, and this was $32 a meter. Wow. Yeah. So Fabricland, their prices are ridiculous. But, I mean, you're in a cot in a bind, you have to pay that price. And I told her on the phone, good morning, Rajul, that Fabricland is the most expensive fabric store in all of the world. Period. Good morning, Rajul. She said, well, prices are just going to keep going up because of the COVID. And I'm like, "Don't please don't blame that on COVID. Ugh. Please. Anyway, this here should get me a few. <laughs> you hold it. This is actually folded in half. This is 90 yeah. inches wide. So it's it's doubled. But it's you're going to have to watch how you plan to uh, pin it out so you can't save every bit of scrap. Yeah, I'm going. <laughs> Hi, Megan. I'm Hi, going Megan. To... Okay, so here I already have things cut out, but I'm going to cut recut everything out so you guys can see how I did this. I have three sets all cut out already but i'm going to cut some more out and i'm going to write all of these measurements down so you guys have them below this video though hi sunshine good morning below this video is a link to crafty patty's channel where you will get the measurements for this so i'm giving credit where credit is due this is her pattern and but it goes really nice with my set. All right, so I'm just gonna put this over here. I have everything all ready, ironed and lined up and ready to go. Okay. Wow. Look at you yeah. being Mrs. Efficient. I was trying to be efficient. <laughs> <laughs> Not so used to this I'm movie. Cutting, I'm gonna be cutting two sets. So I have a directional fabric in here. So I'm gonna show you that. And I have one that is non-directional. So the black one here is directional. Oh, I like that material. Yeah. So we Good have to be very mindful how we cut out our pot holder, our pockets, and all that kind of stuff. So let's get started. And I'll show you how I did this to try not to waste a whole bunch of fabric. So Good I've morning, got... Martha. Hi, Martha. Oh, I just got a peekaboo all my fabric nicely stacked here to the best i can do all the right way so you're not wasting well, any yeah. <laughs> i'm trying not to waste any okay and i'm just gonna flip this over have you froze or have i froze did i good freeze? morning joanne good morning joanne welcome okay so oh, you're back there we go. Now, just trying to line all of my, I've got eight layers of fabric here. Wow. Some of you will not be comfortable cutting eight layers, but I'm comfortable cutting it, especially with a 60 millimeter rotary cutter. It goes through this like butter. <coughs> so uh, we have Joanne Jack with us, who is new to us. Hi, Joanne. Welcome. Is that Joanne Jackson? No, just Joanne Jack. She's trying to. Welcome, Joanne. Oh, you've gone robotic. <coughs> of course I did. This is going to be a thing of the. Can I get a microphone? Yes. Sucks. Really sucks. Okay. Remember, ladies, hit that like. All right. Hit that join. So, what we want to do 
is we want to clean up this edge, but you want to make sure you cut off right every single piece. So some of like, look at this red is shorter because that's how she ripped my fabric. So I'm just going to move it down here to the 19 mark and I'm going to cut this on my board. It shows me 19. So we'll cut this at 19 and pray to God we get all the layers. So it's nice and straight. It's all been ironed and pressed and lined up the best I can. But your main thing is, is so cleaning up your edges. So we've got, and this is how you check. We've got one, two, there goes that, see that thin red piece? One. Okay, so our first cut we're going to make is our um, big bowl cozy. So I'm just going to move this down to the 14, line it all up here and there. So I'm lining up with my my nice clean straight edge with the, the ruler on my mat. And there we go. So we're going to cut 14 and a half inches. One, two, three, four. So at the 28 and a half inch mark, I am going to make my cut. What? Where am I? I'm at the, You're 29. On the 29. Oopsies. I'm at the 29. <laughs> yeah, 28 and a half. 28 and a half will give us 14 and a half. Awesome. Do you see how easy my rotary cutter cuts through this? I, but. Uh, Okay, so we're just going to fold this in half very carefully and move it out of the way. Very diligently. I don't want to mess that up. Then we're going to take this. We're going to roll it down again. Keeping all our edges nice and clean. Good morning, Lynn. Lynn's with us. Hi, Lynn. And we're going to push all this over. Okay, so now we're going to cut 12 and a half inches. So this will give us, so there's the 10, 12, 26 and a half. So we're going to cut at the 26 and a half inch mark. We're going to slide that over. You have to cut it two times because the width of the fabric is absolutely not big enough for um, to make it double. So we'll just cut it, <clears throat> cut another strip off. I'm just going to fold this over, pull it down. Is I need to line this up at a mark so I can count. Okay, so it's at the 20, so 31, two and a half. 32 and a half is my go to number. All right. Now, this piece here. Now I'm just going to take this and I'm going to stack 16 layers of fabric and cut it because I'm cool like that. Most people would never do this, would never attempt this, but that's just the way I roll. I like to cut everything all at once just because I like it to be all the same size. <clears throat> They're not going to be perfect okay there's my 16 layers now we're making eight layers or sorry we're making four bolt cozies that had a crinkle in it oh no Not a big deal okay so we're going to take off all our folded edges here actually no Let's take off the salvages. That way, if I have pieces left over, I could probably use them. 
So I'm just going to move this down. <clears throat> I'm going to see where all my selvages are, where the shortest one is, and it's obviously the red. So the red one is the shortest. So we'll move that down here. And we're going to cut it at the 16 mark. Okay. Easy just piece. took my own advice and sent to share and like the video. Now, 16 layers of fabric is a lot of fabric. Just saying. A lot of cozies. Yeah. But <laughs> I'll just get up and ta-da, cuts through it like butter. Wow. Now, over here. No wonder I cut my finger on it. They're that sharp. Look at there. So let's take 12 and a half. Morning, Joanne. And it's still Joanne. She's saying good morning to everybody. <laughs> and we're going to cut through there. Okay. So I just want to check this. Because something doesn't seem perfect here for me. One, two and a half. I'm just going to re recut this. Is somehow this one got a little Ooh. bit different. So I'm right, right? Check again. I measure twice, cut once. Exactly. All right, so that's 12 and a half there. So I don't know how this one got bigger, but I can see it. I must have went a quarter of an inch over. Okay, so we have, we should have um, four cozies. So there is two. And this color goes with this. There's two. And here's two. So there is four of our regular size bowl cozies. And there's four of the black ones. Cool. So that's done. So you need four of each. So when you're cutting this, you, if you're doing four bowl cozies, you need four of your design fabric, four of your lining. So that's that. Now we'll take this comfortable, diligent little piece, put that aside. Take this one here. And we're going to cut this to 14 and a half now. So line it up on your board. So I'm going to be taking off all those folds. And I am not cutting. Okay, so it's just way too far over for my ruler to fit right now. Line it up. Now this one here, you don't need double. You just need one of each. Well, one for each set, if you're making the set. So you're going to need two of each pieces. I for people who are not as um, confident as you, is it better to pin it or clip it together? It. One, two, three, four, and a half. So, yeah, I, I don't pin things like this. Not when no, I'm cutting that. Not everybody is as good as you, though. All right, double check. 15, 25, 1, 2, 3, 4, and a half. Okay, make, make our cut. So this here is going to give me one large bowl cozy for the larger bowls. So there's that. And that's 14 and a half. So you need two. Uh, wait. Actually, that's going to give me two large bowl cozies. Yeah. I don't want to. And yeah, I don't need to. I shouldn't have folded that in half. Anyway, I'm removing one of each of these because I need I can use this fabric to cut my pockets and stuff out. 
So you only need one lining <laughs> and one pattern, one piece of fabric of your design fabric. So that's that. And that goes with that. And we need one of you and one of you. You know you're going to get orders for that pattern, that material as well. So this is really pretty. My God, I love this. Oh, I love that fabric. Okay. I'm yeah. definitely the queen of hearts for some reason. Yeah. Don't know why, but yeah. that's what it looks like, queen of hearts. Mm. This has got a lot of bright, pretty colors in, on the black. Okay. Yes. We're good with that. Now we're going to use these. Remember, directional. This one is not. So this one's going to go on the bottom. I'm going to keep, pay mind to my directions for these next pieces. The bowl cozies, it don't matter because you're just going to sew them and turn your bowl whatever way you want with your pattern up. Okay. Now. Let's cut our next big part, which is the, um, the um, what do you call it? The pot holder. So you need only one of each of your fabrics. So one of each. Okay. So we're going to cut this. I'm going to move it over here. You want it eight inches wide, 10 inches long. But make sure the long part is going in the direction of your fabric. Okay? Make sure you pay mind if you're directional, please. Then you'll be yelling at me. So I'm going to measure over. Eight, eight, Bye, eight. Nikan. Nikan has to leave us. It's time for dinner there. Oh, wow. Bye, Nikan. Thanks for popping in. Okay. Sorry to interrupt you. That's okay. You're okay. Actually, let me do something because I'm getting, I like to spin things around. So let's do it on my spinner board. That way I don't have to keep all flipping, tools. <laughs> flipping all my stuff around. Good morning, Medea. Hi, Medea. All right. So let's make sure we have room to turn this sucker. Okay. We're going to measure over. So I've got, all right, where's my inches? This is a Turn it around. Because my inches are over here. So what I want to do is I want to clean up the edges. So I'm not going to count those edges. I'm going to move it over about a quarter of an inch past. We have another brand new watcher, Elaine L. Jackson. Hello, Elaine. Welcome. Hey, Medea. Okay. So, not counting. I'm not counting this. I'm going to count over eight inches. Directional, your, your width is going to be this way. Your length is going to go always with the flow of your directional fabric. Because my pot holder is going to be upright. You want it to be upright, right? Yeah. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're going to cut this an even mark at 12. And then I'll roll my mat around. Now, don't throw these pieces away because we're going to cut smaller things with those. No scrap waste. All right, so we're going to go 10 inches this way. So I'm leaving this quarter inch hang off because we're going to cut it off. Two, oops. I hate these markings. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So at the eleven inch mark, I'm going to cut this. And we have extra fabric. Leave that right there. Now it gets wasted. No. Nope. Now we can go over five, six, seven, eight. Here is our eight inches. Oops. Don't keep moving on me. I wonder what Nick can having for dinner. I'm hungry. So I'm just double checking. <laughs> my width of my ruler is five. 
six, seven, eight. So there we go. Cut that off. That might end up being scrap. And then we will cut this little quarter inch. So there's five and there's five. So there's my 10. That's one good thing about a ruler that's a width length like this. Yeah. Okay. So there is the actual potholder holder itself. So we have it in the, the design fabric and the background fabric. This background is not plain. You can see it's got a little oh, speckly. speckle pattern on it. Okay, so there's our pot holder for this. It's like a shimmer in silver. So eight by ten, the, the longer part is the directional part. So that goes there. And then we have our design. You only need one of each piece for each set. So I'm going to try and keep all of this. I got everything written down onto little post-it notes on there. <clears throat> all right. That is good. Now, this here is no good, but this here is perfect. So we need a binding for our pocket. So we're going to use this. We're going to use this for the loop. So we need both of these pieces because these are the backgrounds. Well, and for the loop. Yeah. we need the binding for the pocket out of the design fabric. And I'm probably going to cut a two and a half inch strip from this just because I think we'll just glue them together. So your, your, your uh, binding for your pocket is this one here. Okay, so let me move some stuff. Where's my small ruler? I hit it somewhere. I know I did. I'm so good at that. Here it is. Okay, so you're going to need two and a half. So I'm going to just line these up because this here has a perfect straight edge. Your binding piece for your pocket, this is for the pocket on the pot holder, is two and a half by eight. Remember, also remember, directional. My fabric is going the right way. And my ruler is exactly two and a half by eight. So there is the pocket binding for that one, the pocket binding for that one. Now the little, um, this little piece here is the hanger. Um, <clears throat> and this here is going to be this piece that's going to wrap like this and it's going to go underneath the, um, and it's going to fold up. So it's just going to be big enough to hang it. This is just your pot holder hanger. And this is a two by four and a quarter inch piece. You only need one of each. So. The class is so quiet. How wide is this? One, two, three, four and a quarter. It's Everyone's watching you with interest. All right, it's four and a quarter. This scrap piece here, just going to cut a two inch piece off. So there is your, your, your hangers. So that goes with the red, that goes with the beige. Now, we've got scraps here I don't need. This piece here, I'm going to cut some binding with this. This is going to bind. Actually, I don't need all of this. I just need the designer pieces. Don't need those. I just need these. Actually, you know what? I have enough fabric. Forget this. This is just going to be left over. I don't want to have to. If I don't have to join my binding, I don't want to. And I don't think I need to. Okay. So, we have here our... These are the um, uh, finger pot holders. And for the big one, you need to cut two if you need to cut four if you're making two for a set like I am. So you got to cut four. So over here, I wrote down what exactly we need. 
So it says cut for two of each fabric. So two of your design fabric and two of your uh, liner fabric. So we have exactly two, 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 and two. So this one's going to work out perfectly on here. So we will pin this in two places only. We have a lot of new people today. Nice. Good now, night. with this one here, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, direction. Okay. Whew. Oops, upside down. Good girl. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> This needs to be upside right. <laughs> There's my direct. See, that's why I should have put that one on top. So we've got to cut this. Okay. I almost had it time. upside down. The point needs to be up. That's the up part. So this pattern is in the description box below to Crafty Patty's channel. All right. Now, this one here, we need... These pieces here for the little pockets, you need eight in total. Four of the lining, four of your design fabrics. Yes, so there's one, two, four linings, and there's four designs, okay? Exactly and directional. Four, four of each, and pay close attention to your directional. So I'm going to check to see which way this is going. Perfect. Now... And there is two, four, six, eight. So that's going to give me one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so I've already got the 16 layers here. Uh, where are my pieces? Pattern pieces, where are you? Where Check are underneath you? That, uh, the first pattern piece. Nope. There they are. Okay, so make sure these are going up right. This point, let me check one more time, is going the right way. And this has to go. So this one here, it's only two of each fabric. This one is four of each fabric. Okay. We're going to have all of this written down for you guys in the description box. And I'll also make it out in my own handwriting and put it in the... the um, Files. Yeah, in my in my group. Now I'm cutting through 16 layers of fabric here. Honestly, if you don't need if you don't want to do that, you like to pin lots of times and do this cut lots of times, you're welcome to. I'm trying not to waste fabric, but unfortunately this is gonna get wasted. And for anybody who would like to join the group, I have just posted the link. Click the link, fill it in, and you will be accepted as soon as possible. Ruler. Where are you, little ruler? Likes to get lost. There okay. it is. Okay, so we'll move that there. So I am going to start right there. So I'm going to line this right up with the edge of my paper. And I could turn this. I don't need to turn my board because it's uh... good morning, Shakita, and good blessings to you too. Hi, Shakita. Welcome again. Mm, third day on the roll. Good morning, Clint. Clint's with us as well. Did not work. Very good. Okay, I'm going to move this up because that fabric got cut and I don't want to cut fabric. No. Hi, Clint. Don't need that to deal with at the same time. No. But is this going to hurt me? These two pieces got the tips cut right off. You know what? Move it down a bit. Nope. I'm going to recut it. Okay. And I'm just going to cut this piece out of here. <laughs> Good idea. Yeah. 
good thinking, Batman. Yeah. Because my um my rotary cutter didn't cut all the way, and when I slid it across, I cut the back fabrics. Yeah. Also, when you come to join together on the turn it inside out, you yeah. might be missing it. Now. Is it the right way up? Yes. Yeah. Just checking. It sure is, Muffin. Now, oh, where's the other pin? It's right there. Wow. Shakita says, I saw someone on YouTube use a pizza cutter for crafting only for cutting fabric. Really? Wow. Wow. Mine's blunt. It wouldn't cut through butter. <laughs> All right, we're getting there. We won't cut the tips off again. I'm cutting through 16 layers, remember that. And I'm putting a lot of pressure on my ruler so my fabric doesn't shift. It shouldn't shift anyway, it's pinned, but it tends to do that when you're rolling up the ruler. Better safe than sorry. This will cut all of my little fingering holes for me. And I loved it when Martha says, add some eyes and a nose and you've got puppet fingers. Yeah. Puppet melt. <laughs> yep. I did watch them this morning, so. So there is one. There's one. And there's the second one. So this will go with that pile. These are up, look, almost oh, identical. Oh, robotic. I know. This is where you can get the swear jar out. Yeah, I just don't know which to pick, which one's a good one. I don't know. There's four of them there, and I don't know what they all do. I know one of them it is my voice is too low. You guys always tell me that, so... I can't use it. Okay. Yeah. Lots of pressure. And one that doesn't slip slide away. Yep. And I'm just throwing these bits out. They're useless to me. Unless it was a big hunk of fabric, then yeah, but it's not. How is Tiana after she getting a hold of the baton? Oh, she's fine. Oh, good, good. I was worried. No, she's fine. She needs more fiber in her diet. Right? <laughs> so that kind of went a little bit wonky. Oops. Not this year. I don't want those. Good scissors. We want these. Oh boy. It's such a tiny piece I need to cut off. There. It's not the straightest, but it works. I'm lazy when it comes to cutting. I need to cut it all at once if I can. I would end up cutting the ruler more than the fabric. Yeah, it's kind of hard to roll over your ruler. I'd find a way. <laughs> I'm sure you will. <laughs> There's one. Oh, I'll There's put mine one. back in the packet. It's cut me. I don't like being cut. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Those are done. Those are done. Now, last piece is this, and then we cut a strip of binding, and all our pieces are cut. Easy. Easy. Oh, no, we have to cut our pocket. Sorry. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Our pocket is eight inches. You got to cut one of each, the in the whatever, or two of the same. It don't really matter. The, the, you just want to make sure that the lining, your inside piece, is on the outside of your design fabric, just to have some contrast. Or you can do it all in one color. Who cares? 
You can do it whatever way you want, whatever way you see fit. Yeah, that was, I was going to say, did I put this on the right way? Yes, this, yes, you checked it. I checked the point it. equals upwards. Yeah. Yeah, I did check it. Okay, so these are garbage. Remember, you only need for, for um, each one for a set, you need two of each. So two for there, two for there. Okay, so these are too small. I'm going to throw those in the scrap bin. I'm going to move all this stuff now. Clean up a bit. Yep, I'm going to move this rotary cutter. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to slide this over. And I'm going to cut me a two and a half inch strip off of this. For your binding. Yep, for my binding. Yay. But I only want this fat. Uh, I'm not going to separate them. <clears throat> I'll throw this in my scrap bin. So you need it off of your. You, this is going to bind your pot holder. So that's the red one. I want it to be the design fabric. Does it ma matter if it's the uh, right directional? This this here will not matter because, yeah, once it's folded and it's sewed down and flipped over, you're not going to see much of this binding. You're going to see a quarter of an inch of it. So you're Good morning, gonna... Nan. Hi, Nan. Nan. Okay, so there's all your pieces are cut. These are scraps into Yay. the scrap bin. And now, for your pocket, you're going to need, uh, let's, uh, let's fold it here. Let's fix all this. I did iron everything. There is extra red because I took what was ever left in that pile. Now, for this one here, I need the pocket. So my fabric is directional this way. So I'm going to go five and a half inches and cut a five and a half inch piece with this ruler. Four, five. Let's flip it over. One, two, three, four, five. And that's the half inch there. So I'm just going to line it up here. Good morning, Nan. How are you today? And it's going to be uh, eight inches. So five and a half by eight inches you need two of each or you need one of each check your list yeah there's only one of each okay There'll be two of each because it's doubled fabric so i'm just gonna cut to about eight inches i'm good nan i'm back with you lovely people and it always makes me happy Okay, so this is all extra. I'm just going to sit this here, line it up on my ruler. Five and a half. Take this off. It's good. And flip my ruler back around because this has to be an eight inch piece. All right, so what you're going to do with this is you're going to take two pieces, one one of each. That's your pocket for your putt holder. Okay. And same with this. And I've got it right side, but it's not going to matter because this is the side here. Whoops. This is what's going to be out. <clears throat> this is what's going to be inside the pocket. Ah. You see? Yes, it is, Nan. Very nice yeah. to be with everybody. It will be on the outside because it's see it's going to show on here, and it's also going to get a binding on it just to give it some extra contrast. So that is all your pieces. These are all scraps. 
left over. A little bit of waste of fabric, but you know me, I don't, I'm not good at, I'm not good at not wasting. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is trim this right off so I can have a decent piece, piece of fabric here. I'll keep that. This one's got almost a whole yard here. Wow. Of the red. <clears throat> So we will definitely keep this piece of red. Might come in handy. And I think I'll keep this little piece of scraps in my scrap bin. And that's a big piece of scrap in my scrap bin. And that's it. So here's a set. Here's a set. All your pieces. Done. So now I have several sets. Yay. Now all I have left to cut is uh, two more sets. And that is with that green and that one. But I'm not going to cut that now because right now we need to cut our, our uh, polyfill backing. Or, yeah. Our cotton batting. Okay. And I've got them all labeled, which one gets thin slate and which one gets batting itself. Do you need to stand and, up and get a drink before yeah, you cook Yeah, I am going to stand up because this fabric is so big. Yeah. All right. It's a fight. This one needs batting and, and thin slate. This needs no batting, no batting, no batting, no batting, uh, no batting. This one needs, this is the pocket pot holder. So this one needs one thin slate. This needs thin slate and batting. And all of these just need batting. I don't know which color to make. I don't know which one I want to make. I think I want to make this red. Thank you, red. And the queen of hearts. This one. I'm going to make this one. Yeah. But I need my notes because I wrote on all my notes what I need. Okay, this stuff does not need any kind of batting. Put those aside. Put those there. Put this here. And we're going to make the red one. Let's see if my red thread matches. Oh, that's going to be really pretty. Yes. Very good. It matches very well. It's a little tiny bit darker. Well, Nan's having a coffee and waiting for her husband to bring her a pastry home. Oh. oh we'll be bringing enough for all of us. Yeah. All right. Batting time. No so standing up time. Yeah, right. Turn <laughs> I'll stand up. Oh, stand up. It's going to be so hard to cut. It's so bad. Big. You'll get through it. It's so Nancy long. very pretty. It Just is so, so it is so thick. It's actually kind of thicker than my other one. But this is 90 inches wide, rolled up wow. to three meters. So it's three meters long by 90 inches wide. <laughs> and our meters are 38 inches. So 38 times three is how big this is. Wow. But I have all of this left over from yesterday. So I am going to be using these for the pot holders uh, for cutting out little pieces because I'm not wasting. And this is my thin slate oh. that we need for the pot holders and the little oven things. And I'm going to grab another package of thin slate because I don't know if that's going to be enough. I'll go get another package while I run up. And a coffee. Oh, I just what's, like every, oh, what's I just, everybody working on today? Martha, are you still decorating?
Okay, you know what I think I'll do is fold that fatty in half. Okay, so I just grabbed me a new insole bright. Um, yeah, that's how I'm gonna cut this, guys. Yeah. Nan says, conquer that white fabric, Ruby. You can do it. You can do it. We know you can do it. Okay, so <laughs> <laughs> I rolled this up because they just folded it a big mess. <clears throat> But I was so happy Jeff went and got this for me last night. I was oh, making, I made supper. Well, he ran to Fabric Land because they called me and told me the batting I wanted 100%. They had none in stock. I was like, of course you don't. I had to buy this stuff. Yeah. That was $32 a meter. Wow. Anyway. Nana's finishing up her counted cross stitch and she must get her chores done today. No, you don't need to do your chores. chores. No. Who the hell does chores? Not me. That's what children are for. They do the chores. She probably doesn't have any children at home anymore. Grab some off the street. <laughs> Child labor. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if China can do it, why don't we? I can see she really didn't cut this very straight. So I'll give you more and not less. I almost want to uh, check it. Check the meters. Make sure there's three meters here. Nan says, trust, what is that white fabric? It's batting. This is Nan. white batting, warm and soft. Believe me, it is very soft, very thick. It's, it's thicker than what I'm using. But it has a touch. She said it's 99% cotton and 1% polypropylene, which means this can't go in the microwave. Even that one percent, that one percent of polypropylene will probably be enough to blow up in the microwave. So, I'm going to tell my customers: do not put your your um, bowl cozies in the microwave if you don't want to have a fire. Good morning, Laura. Laura's with us, Ruby. Laura, I don't Laura. see her. Hi, Laura. Good morning. I won't lie to you. Trust me. I'm blonde. Okay. <laughs> now I got it. It's nice and even there, even on the bottom. So I'm going to continue to fold this in half because I do have to cut a fair amount. Could you make a sticker or something to stick on the cozy to say not microwavable? Yes, I most certainly will put those in with the packaging. Yeah. Yep. Most certainly. I don't want to be liable for it. Hey, it covers yeah. your back. Yeah. yeah. Yep. And they can't say, oh, it didn't come with a sticker because I'll take a picture of it. Exactly. Yes, it did. It didn't come with a sticker. It came with a piece of paper. Oh. oh. Not to put in my place. Nan says, you guys, I've got three full laundry baskets to take care of. It's been sitting there for two weeks. Yeah, another couple of weeks will make it nice. Yeah, another couple of weeks will never hurt it. Exactly. Okay, so we're good. Oops. Uh oh. Oopsies. Oopsies. I made, I made a mess. All right. So All right, Nan, be right back. That Nan is. Says, what? Nan says, be right back. Okay, Nan. All right. This is actually almost the whole size of my mat. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm very straight cutting, though, are they? It's not very straight, no. She did not cut dog this legs very straight. straight than that. Even Martha so, can cut straighter than that. Line this up. There. Okay. <laughs> chunk missing. That's a big chunk. I'm going to slide it over so I can just square this up. Okay. Chunk it off. Yeah. What do you use? Yeah. The teeth? I don't know. They don't care when they cut at the fabric store. Yeah. They don't have to pay for it. Nope. Oh, Medea's on a be right back as well. Okay, Medea. Don't All forget right. we teach milk, no sugar. Where's my cutter? Did I bury it? Of course it's I did. It. Oh, yeah, it's right here. <laughs> did I get it off? I did. <laughs> okay, so this one here, I'm going to cut the big one first. See what I can cut from the small side. So I'm just going to slide this over. I'm going to cut the 14 and a half inch squares. Just a bit. Left a bit. Bring it down to here, to here. And wash it out. 
Yeah. Welcome back, Nan. Welcome back, Nan. We were okay. just for you. We haven't done anything. One, two, <laughs> three, four at the 25 and a half inch mark. As if I could see it up there. I'm gonna have to stand because I can't read this. It's too thick. Oh wow. Uh, Nan says her yeah. son has just got a job. Nice. Yay. Nan. 25 and a half. 25 and a half. Tom, congratulations from us. Okay, so you're going to need two pieces of batting for one bowl. Cozy. So here I've got. Welcome back, Medea. Welcome back, Medea. We've only just cut this. That's all we've done. Well, it's all Ruby's done. Um, I just, I seriously don't want to mess this up. So I'm just going to put some clips in my edges here. Keep them lined because I have to move this. Exactly. Yeah. I have to shift it. And I want to kind of keep it straight so I can get some of the four, 12 and a half inch ones cut too. And then the smaller ones, I can cut all out of the other batting. Okay, so you're good to move now. Nan, I'm sure he will. It'll be brilliant. It'll work for him. Nan says he has challenges. Hope this will work for him. I'm sure it will. Okay, I'm just doing it this way for now because I need to cut the fold off and I'm not wasting all that. No, no. I'm trying to be little. diligent. Wow. This is not like you. No, it's not like me, is it right? <laughs> but because I have to wait till Joanne ships me my other batting and it's white too, but it's 100% cotton. It's more trustable. Yep. Okay, so this here, I'll have enough to make for two. So we'll just slide this over to here, put it on the lines. Line it all up nice, perfect. So 10, so we'll go to 24 and a half. That's 14 and a half inches. 24 and a half. We're good here. Okay, so there is our 14 and a half. So you need one per set. Two, sorry, two per set because you're going to all oh, this batting feels really really nice honest to god good on beautiful. your bed <laughs> okay so i have to put that one there now out of this um i could get two pot holders out of this so let's do um eight inches wide Actually, I could get four pot holders with this. Eight inches wide, and you need it at 10 inches. This looks like it kind of shifted a little bit here. Yeah, slipped a bit. Yep. All right, so 10 inches. So at the 22 mark, we will take off. This little wee bit. Okay, so you only need one per pot holder. So that's the pot holder. And that's the pot holder. And I'm going to put a sticky note on here. So I know what this, this leftover pieces are for. What am I going to do with my sticky note pad? Please tell me it's not underneath this fabric. I, it haven't is, seen it. I just don't want to touch it. I don't want to touch it. I see it. It's not hey. There we go. Nan had sundering rain last night and yesterday afternoon. We needed the rain. A lot of countries are saying that. Nan. That's extras for the other kits. Um... Yeah, because you only need one of those. You're going to need a thin slate also for the putt holder. This here might be too small to do anything with. I'm just thinking what else needs. Hmm. Nope. The other ones don't get lined with batting, just the pocket. 
but it doesn't get batty and it gets thin slate. So we're just going to put this in our little pile over here because I'm not wasting it. No, it's too expensive to waste. It's like gold <laughs> dust. This stuff is like gold, yes. <laughs> okay, so this one here, we need, ooh, we definitely need um, 16 or 8 per set. Each one of these bowl covers need their own, um, their own batting because you have to quilt it so it stays in place. So, so we go to the 22, 23, tw or yeah, 23, 24 and a half. So we'll go to the 24 and a half mark. So that's good there. I cannot see. And I need to move this up a little bit. 24 and a half. There. Nope. That wasn't. That's perfect. And that is not. There we go. All right. Yeah. All right, got that. Now I need to move this because I have to cut it again because I'm not going to get a full 220. I'm not going to get 25 inches out of this. There's no yeah. way. This ruler is, yeah, 12 and a half and 12 and a half. Oh, shit. So let's this out it's nice Nan we have a lot of new starters new watches yes, please remember do. hit that like hit that share and show the love oh, this is very very big fabric and warm yes warm soft Snuggable. Very thick. It's very, very thick. Okay. Don't you just want to put it on your bed and just roll up in it? Yeah, I do. <laughs> I do. Okay, so. That's what the boys at the toilet factory do. When they get a roll off the press, they just slice up the roll. It's two tons, so it is big enough. They just slice it up, lay it out, and just go to sleep on it for a nap. And I'm just going to line all these up. And cut through it much easier than me. Nan Nikan is not with us at the moment, she's gone for her okay. dinner. Nan saying oh. hi to everyone. I just didn't want her to, you know, she's not getting a reply. That's why. That's it. We love Nan, she's a sweetheart. Very thick. Good. Oh. Ooh, why is that got a little slither at the bottom there? Yeah. Yeah. It's just <laughs> rough. Ah, okay. All right. I think I'm done with this for now. I wanted all my big pieces, and I got them. Yay. Yep. We are done with this guy for now. All right. Now, I can only cut through four layers of this at a time. So I'll take these guys off now. Uh, let's put Grumpy and Award, A E U. He has to stay in Award. When it's a lumbar puncture, they have to like put you in a, a fetal position and then like spine, put a spine tap in. Yes. You get the fluid out. Yep. So, yes, he has to be in a what they don't know if he's going to stay overnight or if he'll be home late tonight, but yeah. Poor, poor Grumpy. 
and he's gone through all that and he's still worried about me because my blood sugar keeps dropping <laughs> Bless it does. Him. yeah it's the stress of him yep all right so one two and a half 27 everybody has stress so you can't go away from it I could probably cut some pieces out of there. Yeah. So there is two four. <coughs> Enough for that one. We need eight. Move you out of the way. That doesn't release fibers in the air, does it? Well, a little bit. I'm just with you coughing like that. Well, I cough because of all the fabric fibers in my room. I probably yes. should send my family. I was just thinking that. Uh, Nan says, sometimes I'm a sweetheart. You're always a sweetheart, Nan. Yes, you are, Nan. <laughs> okay. There's my bowl cozy things. These don't need thin slate. Now, what does need thin slate? Let's grab some thin slate here is our pot holders. Oh, there's Martha. She's awake again. All right. What else needs batting? Let me see. We've we've done done again. Okay, we've done that. We've done this. And we've done that. The fingers don't. This don't. 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 The pot holder. We've got that, but now we need the thin slate. Thank you, Nan. It's Thank been a horrible couple of weeks, to be honest. Okay, so this has to be eight inches long. So I'm just going to eight by ten. Hmm. Is this ten inches wide? Let's have a look. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and no. So we have to go eight inches this way. She says device is not connected, Martha. There she is. Good morning. Good morning, Martha. Good morning. Okay, so. Our 10 inches will have to come from Move this over. Good morning, everybody. Mm -hmm. I had to finish watching my movie, The Storm of the Century. Uh -huh. Oh, yes. That's my favorite movie. It's on YouTube, so I put it on the TV. Yep. All right. So now we can use you. I still haven't gotten to watch that yet. Things pop up and I forget. Write a note. Write a note. I'm going on YouTube. Put it on then. Wasn't it? And okay, PC. Let's work. You're not that busy. This has to be 8 by 10. And not crooked like that. Um, very crooked here. So let's do this again. Here, here. See? Very crooked. The thriller, mystery, horror, drama. Okay. So I'm going to put these pieces together. So this is for the pot holder. So let's grab the pot holder. Okay, it's lined up all ready for after the stream. That's the pocket. Where's the pot holder? Where are you? Right here. There. Oh. We've got all these Perfect. pieces cut. All right, that's the pot holder. 
but where's the other ones you oh, were only going to do that yeah okay so those don't need oh yes this does that does that does not. uh these don't and these don't and this does not this does not the binding does not so and we've already got these cut so that goes with this one and that goes with the eight small ones I'm just making sure we have enough i kind of like that red material this red look at how pretty it is with the pink flowers oh yeah it is cute yeah. it's hard to probably see from a distance uh where did that come from there i've got your full so, screen so i'm seeing everything <laughs> This part here needs batting and thin slate, and that just needs thin slate. And then we've got all our pieces cut. Okay. So this hey. part's done. Moving it over there. Fat all and I have all kinds of scraps here. Wonder if this will be big enough for the inside of this pocket. Yep. Just perfect. Okay. So what I'm gonna do, line it all up nice. I'm just going to carefully cut around it. So while he was in the opticians yesterday, right next door is a second-hand um, electrical goods store. Mm -hmm. And I picked myself up a Galaxy uh, tablet for my patterns. I was going cheap, 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 so I had to buy it. And two pieces of batting. That's a good idea, though. Put all yeah. your patterns on one one device. Well, I've got. I'm putting them on a stick mm -hmm. and on the device, and that's the only thing that device will be used for. That's what I said. Good idea. And if anybody touches it, they will lose the fingers. Here's my pattern pieces right here. So we do have to cut. We're making two, so you need two two uh, insole brights and two two battings. Okay. Oops. Missed it. <laughs> sure did. <laughs> as long as you didn't find your finger instead of that. Yeah. I'm going to move that because it might be in the way of my rotary cutter. Okay. And then we've got everything cut and we can start sewing. Okay. Oops. Let's not cut our pattern. No, we need that. We're You've got too many more to do. <laughs> Ouch. Oh. By the way, guys, tomorrow I am going to be designing something, and I hope it turns out. I have for a, me a really cute idea in mind in my head, and it usually will work out because I'll be copying it. I am going to be making a long shopping bag that's going to fold inside of a pocket with a snap that goes in your purse. Oh, kind of like them inverted pillow things. That, yeah, yeah, basically yeah, yeah. Like a quillow. Basically a quillow, but it's going to be a shopping bag, like a regular shopping, a long one. You know how I always go into the grocery store and I'm like, damn it, I forgot my bags in the car. Yeah. Put, leave some yeah, in you your can put, You can put a handbag clip on them. I've got about 10 in my handbag. Yeah. Grumpy yeah, keeps Yeah, fold it all them. up and tuck yeah, yeah, it yeah. in and snap it shut. Yep, and yeah. close it up. So I have an idea. I'm going to use actually a dollar store uh, reusable bag because I like the shape of that. That's the kind I want to go for. Yeah. Um, and putting it in a little pouch. So there we go. We've got our two pieces of batting and our two pieces of insulation. Put a snap on to keep it shut. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to put a snap on it just so the pouch stays shut. Yes. Right. And then yeah. you put it in your purse you can put a couple of them because uh they're not going to be lined they're not going to have 
interfacing. I might put lightweight interfacing because I just think uh, bags will be more sturdier with a little bit of interfacing. I just don't want it super bulky that it won't fold up nice and go in the pouch. It'll just be a big fat thing. We don't want that. Yeah. I mean, right? this one, it is measures at eight inches by four inches, uh, right. 10 inches. So tomorrow when I come back, I'm not going to be making these here. I'm going to be doing, well, I'm uh, in hangouts with the girls. I don't yeah. need, you guys don't need to see me sewing these over and over and over. You know what I mean? I don't want to bore you guys, but tomorrow I want to work on designing a, uh, I didn't even use another package of Insulbrite. So no, this doesn't no. take a lot of Insulbrite and don't throw away your leftover pieces because those small ones come in, come in handy. handy. You were going to ask Medea which material? Yes, Medea needs to tell me. So these are extra pieces. I just want to keep everything together. Yes. You know, actually, I'm going to put this underneath. I sent Medea a message, private message. She can let me know what she yep. wants in there. Because I I didn't show the other fabric, so it might oh. be something. Medea I says, Ruby, that's the print I told you about. I think it was the one that was on the top. Which one, Medea? You have to tell me what color. In the pack that you just put to the side. That would be the rosy oh, one. Oh, the brown one. Is okay. it the brown one, Medea? This one, Medea, that I just put away. This one here. I have, to, I have to write all this out. This one here, Medea. Wait for you, Medea. <laughs> Either yes or no. Yeah. Well, it's 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 uh, there's a, a delay. Yes, I know. I'm watching. Okay. So, I'm trying to keep my room clean. All right. Yep, that's the one. Okay. So you didn't. Yeah, but did you want the whole set or just a bowl cozy? You have to tell me what you want. A whole set consists of. Ooh, of a large bowl cozy, four small bowl cozies, uh, that the large ones for the serving dish and the four for the soup bowls, and then it comes with the pot holder. Yes. Yes. Okay. Full set. All right. She watched the video, so she said she knows what she knows what she's talking about. Yeah. Okay, my dear. I will definitely make that set for you. All right. First I don't thing cook, so first. I don't need a one. <laughs> you what? I don't cut, so I don't need a whole one. enchilada. She said <laughs> the whole enchilada. <laughs> She's funny. <laughs> the whole She's enchilada. Hilarious. The whole kit and caboodle. Yes, the whole kit and caboodle. <laughs> um, Another one. We love Medea. Whoopsies. Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah, but I don't understand why I can't move my thing over now my camera it just goes that far over what what have i done that's the edge you're not you're you're actually not in the middle of your camera so when you go to the left it goes way over okay if you know what i mean the camera itself it's yeah not your it's mat. not centered yeah Oh. You're as far over to the right as you can go. Hmm. Jeff has to rebuild me a, a new shelf. He's got to move this shelf over. I'm not sure what happened, but the other day it was showing my whole machine here. Now it's not even showing it, and I never. Yeah, moved it's not even head. showing where your uh, oh. your little new cutoff razor is, neither. No, and it was no. showing that. So let me see. Whoa. My lamp always. Hold on to the Nick's lady. We're on the move. Yeah, we'll see if I can fix some of it. Probably not the greatest job. That's the view we had yesterday. Yeah, why, why did it change? We can see the little pink nub cutter. That is so cute. 
Okay. Did you run the giveaway for a one, or are you doing that later? What giveaway? Uh, you said you were doing oh, a giveaway. No, I did not. Yes, you did. No. She did for not the, have one I yet. Did not. I do the giveaway for the car yet. No, I didn't, Olivia. I will. I could have sworn you said you had three. You've put the pink one on your sewing machine. I, have, I haven't given it away yet, though. Ah, okay. Yeah, I haven't done the giveaway. <laughs> That's what I'm, yeah. Okay. Okay. So I think Ollie, I'm you had your coffee yet? I've had two. <laughs> I've been up half the night. I know Martha wants the white one because that will fit perfectly on her machine. Oh, that would be. All right. <laughs> so I'm going to just take, get rid of the black. We've got to cut, wind a couple of red bobbins. It's like, so, why don't Martha make one for herself? I don't think you can hard. because of the blade. Yeah. You just now, gotta it between two pieces of wood, put a magnet on it, you're good to go. Kind I'm, of going to, thing. I'm going to remove be hard to make one. the uh, purple thread off of here and use this bobbin. Which is because I don't want to use up all my white bobbins. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, grumpy's <laughs> Jimmy. And that's how you remove your thread off the bobbin. You just put it on your bobbin winder and pull. Okay, so we don't want purple. Um, yeah, he needs to calm down. Um, are you using white or red? I am going to be using red, but I have two black bobbins. So I don't know if I have spare ones. Let me have a look, see here. Uh, I do not. <coughs> I have a red one already wound. Yay. Okay. Win win. It's a win win situation. Win win chicken dinner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. I am going to put the block in there. Oh, Stephen King, Storm of the Century. Where is that? I've got it lined up, ready to watch it after you log off. You're not going to watch it with the hubby? Uh, I don't know what time he'll come back. If he comes back tonight. If he comes back tonight. Okay, so what's going on with him? I missed that. Um, He got sent for eye tests yesterday and then they were not happy because he's got a he's got a pinched nerve and one of his veins is punctured behind his eye so they were not happy they sent him straight to the a and &E eye hospital okay he spent all the rest of yesterday in a and &E. I wasn't allowed to go um they have to do a lum lumbar spine tap because they're thinking it's something to do with the spinal cord that's creating all these different problems or there's pressure on his spine. You know, I don't know. So that's where he is today. He's getting the lumbar puncture done. Okay. I should have put that away because I don't need black. All I can do is just... I'm in conference with him as I'm watching this. So if I go quiet, I'm answering him. Oh, that's all right. At least you get to be face-to-face -face with him on your phone. We understand. Yes. We're face-to-face, but he's listening to you as well as me. So. <laughs> oh, hi, Grumpy. I mean, you can't say hi back, but yeah. Oh, get better. Hey, Grumpy. As is last night, it's a good thing you're on holiday. You don't have to take time off work. You went, I'd rather not take time at all, but okay. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. That's why we didn't go on vacation because of his problems at the moment. Well. The main thing is to 
Oopsies. <laughs> Main thing is oopsies. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it'll be fine. It's not allowed. Nothing's allowed to happen to him because I'm going first. He's not leaving me with my kids. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. We've heard blah, that blah, blah. before. <laughs> <laughs> you have. They haven't. All right. We are threaded, threaded, ready. But I am going to have to make more bobbins. That's for damn sure. I just don't feel like wasting all my bobbins. Okay. We are good. We are all set. Now, let's quilt these. So we're going to quilt the big one first. Sure, why not? So I'm doing the same thing I did yesterday. I'm guesstimating. What? You guessed them? No. Yep. You'd Guess never do that. <laughs> I sure am. No, don't believe it. Your guesstimate is better than my actual measurement. <laughs> we are guesstimating. We are not drawing lines. We're going to save ourselves a lot of work. We're not going to free motion quilt this. No, we are not. Uh, okay. I will tell him now. Thank you. All right. He's only listening to the ladies talk. He's not actually in the chat. He's only got a small phone. Okay. So, this is how we're going to do this. He's That's only cute. got a small phone. Yeah, I need a bigger phone so I can see it because I'm going blind. Well, so see at the moment, but okay. So is that a cheap trick? You go from corner to corner, just fold your corner up and then slide it down. Yep, that's cool. the way I'm doing it. I'm cheating. Oh, but it works. Just till I get it long enough that I can fold it back and see my lines here. Whoa, 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 don't do that. Whoopsie. Whoopsies. Don't sew it. You didn't take your foot off the pedal. No, I didn't. Yeah, whoopsies. Nan, I hope he's ordered enough for all of us. And then you're going to make a little mark here and start in the middle there and hope and pray you hit your X. Nan's having a coffee but no pastry at the moment. And now halfway here. There's no need to draw lines, right? Exactly. Did you get the lines out yesterday? I know you were having trouble. You might not be exactly square perfect, but you know what? When there's bolt codes you put together, you don't even see it. It's all good. Oh yeah, that looks halfway. And that's what I just did. See? Perfect. That's really basically all you need to do. And I can tell these are a little bit wider. You can go and do some more lines here if you want, so that when you wash your bowl cozy, your batting doesn't bat, um, crunch up on you. 
the more quilting lines you have, the less likely this will bunch up. Remember that. Now, on to number two, how fast that was. I can't believe it. You can follow the lines on that one. <laughs> Basically, no. Ah, oh, you dirty pig. Of course, my thread broke. What's this all set at? Tension's good. I forgot I need a bigger needle because I need something with a bigger eye. This cotton thread is okay. The problem I'm having is I have a small eye on my needle, and this cotton thread causes a lot of fuzzies. That's the thing with cotton threads. They they tend to have a lot of lint and i mean a lot of lint so don't take off like a madman like i did or a mad woman mad woman is okay madman no okay duck. <laughs> Right? They're allowed. They're not. Right. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you I always think. measure that way to follow your little pointy. Don't do what I did, though. Wait till there. Now, this one doesn't have any markings in the middle, so. Pinch it there, and right there. That's where I'm going to start. And try to stay straight. Follow my cross, cross over. Do the same here. That's about much marking as I plan on doing. Even your guesstimation is that with my normal sewing. Never mind. <laughs> and we ran out of bobbin thread already. <laughs> wow. Are you serious? No. It just got too short and pulled out. I'm like, really? It can't be already. Okay, this thread just keeps breaking, so I'm going to change my needle to a big one with a big eye in it. This one is not going to work for me. Uh, where are you, needles? I'm going to use a 16 inch, which should have a big eye on it. These are the actual needles that go with my Juki machine. According to this, they tell you to use HL times 5, HL times 5, or HAX1. HAX1. These both are HAX1s. And those are extremely expensive, those damn needles. I've plated in gold. It's, a, it, it's made for the Juki. Ah. Oh, you do oh, pay extra for the name brands. Yep. Okay. Let's see if this needle works a little better. Less lint. Okay, what happened? And a way bigger hole. Because <laughs> it even thread easier. <laughs> Oh, I should see what's in my parcel. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yes. And it's probably a good idea to use a bigger needle going through all these layers. That will will be going through. Okay. 
Nope, that did not work. This thread just keeps breaking. Look is it the actual thread? Thread is this. Now, if it breaks one more time, I gotta go find the thread that Patsy was using, my brand new Omni thread. She was Ooh. missing her Christmas cloak. <coughs> and I think it got packed away with her stuff when I packed all her stuff out. I think I packed my red thread with it. Has she said when she's coming back? Oh, she was supposed okay. to be back here. You know, yeah. mm. I didn't find it. No. Oh, oh, come on, stop making a noise and just get in the packet. Yeah. Okay. You're pissing me off. Yeah. It broke. It, it broke. Time again. to look for the other one. Yep. I've had enough of you. This is garbage thread. Brand new too. But I could see all the fuzzies on this. <coughs> I need to go find the one. Look at this. That right, ladies, time good. to make the coffee. <laughs> Mine's milk, no sugar, please. Milk, no sugar? <laughs> yes, please. Jeff will make me a coffee when he gets home. Hey, Jeff, go over to Patsy's and get my thread. I thought you packed it away when we lost up in this room. Basic stitches are always done from lower left to upper right. And then cover stitches from lower right to upper left. Okay. So I said the top one always goes from left to right. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, yep, yep. It's still telling me to count up and go to the very far left of the pattern and start there. Okay. My bigger lap frames just come. Yay! Yeah. That'll keep me occupied this afternoon to sort that out.
I am redoing. Well, I'm making the bracelet. The one I made the other day, it was a, like a, a test run. Yeah. So I'm redoing it because two rows of beads were popped up and I didn't like it. This one is looking way better. Uh huh. Uh huh. Is that the twisted one? Or the... Yeah. Yeah. Is it twisted or twirled? It twists when you work it. Spiral. Ah. Spiral. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I knew I'd get there in the end. Much better, much better. Good, good, good. I got all my tiles yesterday for my wall in the kitchen. Yay. Got the first coat of paint, and I think that's about us. It's pretty well covered, so I think the wall is good for paint. It's Good. like, damn, why didn't I just get a quart instead of a gallon? It's like, ugh. You'll find something else to paint. Well, I gotta paint the rest of the kitchen. I gotta paint the rest of the walls. They there you go. Bad. That's a problem when you do like one wall or touch it up, it shows off the rest of the walls. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because they haven't been painted in a long, long time. Mine's apple green. I love apple green. Don't know apple why. It's pretty color. Yes. I either like a yellow or an apple green in the kitchen to make it sunny. Mine, I put yellow. I got yellow in there. And uh, maybe when I get the walls all painted and all that, I can get my darn curtains made. Yes. With a little ladybugs on it and in a bathroom i like a blue either a pastel blue or a light blue but i like blue i got some uh, color charts the other day that i every time i go to home depot i look at the paints again yeah and there's one that's kind of a tealish turquoise it's really pretty it's like hmm, now that could be something different that i don't have for the bathroom I actually picked up a color inspire, inspiration for your home booklet and it tells me all the colors that go together for a room. I thought, oh, I can use that for painting dotting. Yeah. So I have no idea what yeah, paint they have. go together. Oh, Nan, um, I'm using silver lined, silver. Uh, frosted blue, uh, silver lined turquoise, a matte blue, and cosmos, which is like a blue iris. And they're looking really pretty together. But you're making this for somebody? Yeah, it was an order. Just before someone said, oh, I'll buy it. Mm -hmm. That's... I really wanted one. to put like a galvanized silver in it, but I did find some Miyuki silver lines, so that's what I decided to use. Miyuki Talakas, yay. A little bit of matte, a little bit of shine. A little bit of bling bling. Yeah, two of them are matte, actually. Yeah. That's what I am making, Nan. I'm just making a mess. <laughs> As you do. Yeah, I did some homework before I started this. Right. You know, watching a few videos and which one did I want to make, which was this one. I wanted the twisted one. And it's like, okay, I'm good. Well, that's a pretty practice. green. <laughs> English English that's sage practice. Three nine two. That's a pretty colour. I'm not finding it. Uh oh, she's took it home. Oh. I forgot Ruby. <laughs> <laughs> what stream do you think we're in? 
<laughs> uh, you know, hang out. I'm sitting yeah. here beating, just talking. <laughs> just like, That's fine. Just like hang out. That's what we do. I best watch what I say. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Ooh, the perfect paved sealer. That's a cool book. Yes, there's a lady called Stitcher Stitcherina. She actually went to Walmart, got a car steering wheel cover. And use that as her ground guard. Yeah, I, when I seen that picture this morning, it's like, okay, I know what you're talking about, and it's just a steering wheel cover. Yeah, yeah. It, it would be so simple to make. All it is is a, a, a stretch of fabric with two bits of elastic on each end yeah. to draw it in. Yeah. Nan says, that sounds beautiful, Martha. So Nancy far it will, is, man. So far it is. She'll share pictures at the end, I'm sure. Where did I put that little pattern? I want to scan it into my new machine. Hey, she found it. Quick, hide. Okay. I, went I thought maybe she disappeared. Uh, I found it. Where'd you found it? It was still attached to her sewing machine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Patsy. All her stuff was here. Okay. Oh, yeah. yeah. She just See, packed this it is, up. This is more of a cranberry red. But this is China, and I'm not sure. <coughs> I can't read that. I like the cranberry red. I bought that from Missouri Star Co. Company. I bought a whole bunch of these Omnis. Poly wrapped. Fiery red. So I went all the way downstairs. I dug in all her sewing stuff and it wasn't in there. <laughs> Bitch. Well, I had no problem with the Omni thread. So. Cool. Let's, let's try this. See if this makes any matter different. Nancy, she saw that a while back. Huh? What? I don't know. I'm just trying to figure it out. I made I, I made a little thing to make Patsy was able to use this because the Kenmore sewing machine does not take large spools like that. Got you. So I rigged it up for her where she could use this red for her Christmas. I found the Christmas quilt and I'm like, why isn't the I thread? I remember good? that. I remember that. Day. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I rigged it up so she could use it. And it worked perfectly. I hung a paper clip just like this thing here that's attached to my machine to bring the thread up. So it pulls off of the spool down onto her machine. So we rigged it up really good and it worked perfect for her. Work so much she nicked the thread and left it there. No, I put the machine away. I t I didn't take the thread out of her machine, ah. but now I all did. right, you can't blame her then. No, well you can, but I won't tell her. I can, but I won't. All right, so it's going to be a bit of a different shade of red, but I'm hoping it works better. You can't even tell. Really? Maybe you can tell because it hasn't broke. It's all right. Better. So I don't even care about all these threads inside, but I do care about these ones on the outside. We don't want threads hanging outside our uh, pretty, pretty fabric. All right. That is done that is going to be a very this is very pretty it's going to be kind of like christmasy 
Yep. All right, we got to do all these now. Oh, the steering wheel cover. Okay, Nan, thank you. Yes. And we also are going to quilt our pot holder. So I'm going to get that ready. This one I did draw lines on. Um, I quilted the pot holder and the pocket. So let's get these all ready for quilting and get the rest of this stuff out of the way. So, and those we did not quilt. Okay. So oh, we draw to charge. We just draw some lines. Let's grab these. Put them there. Grab one of these. And one of these. The cranberry red is very pretty. Now, these spools were extremely expensive. Even though they're not orophil, they are they're polyester blend. But polyester blends are really nice for quilting too. So remember. Hey Crystal! Remember that. Hi, Crystal. Hey, guess all. You're needing a break. It's Friday. It's Friday. It's Friday, Crystal. Pot sticker time. <laughs> <laughs> she might not find that humorous. <laughs> so I do have a set of lights that are going to come that are going to light up my throat part of my machine. Yes, and when they come, it. Oh, What, Martha? When they coming? Today? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So if you're not 100% perfect, it's not going to matter. I just need to find... Where's yeah, but you're going to fuss over it because it matters to you. No, my quilting lines aren't going to matter to me. Honestly. Oh, okay. This is, yes, you'll need. See, I've already got, like, all my, like, I do have this, these variegated. The pink one will go nice with the pink. This yes. one's got blue, and it's it's a whole bunch. But these are pretty old. And I'm just scared that the old thread will just keep breaking. So I've got all my threads. Like, these are the Omni threads. I've got the pink for the pink one, the mint green for the green set, and the gray for the gray set. I really love these Omni threads. My Juki doesn't. These China threads, well, you know how that goes. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. All right, I just want the money. And I will square these all up because they do stretch over uh, the quilting, of course. So they are a little bit wonky. -dy. But that's okay. Oh, there's a neighbor going out again. What? There's a neighbor going out again. Oh, you heard that, eh? <laughs> Go ahead. And her, husband, and her husband's a mechanic. Oh, wow. I know. I think it's a bit ridiculous, to be honest. There's actually a law over here that they can't have it that loud.
Hello. 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 Is it me you are looking for? <laughs> Wait, you lost internet again. I thought they fixed it. That was actually a really nice song. Yeah. That's the song that. me and my husband danced to on our wedding night. On our wedding day, I mean. Lionel Richie, hello. I'd have to say that this is the fastest quilting ever. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Grumpy's been shopping on Facebook Market Page. What are you buying, Grumpy? He says the lady is selling all of her DMC floss, storages, and a few bits and bobs for needlecraft. Oh. And he says he's bought it. Pick it up tomorrow at 11. Oh. For uh, you? Yeah. Shopping for you? Yeah. I didn't ask him to. Oh. He's bored. He's waiting to go down, so he's flicking through his phone on Facebook. Right. I don't mind buying me it, so. <laughs> right. Hello. I wonder when my bobbin's going to run out. <laughs> <laughs> Fourth line. Here's one. There's two. We're taking bets, ladies. When's the bubble going to run out? Because there wasn't much on it. <laughs> There's three. <laughs> Come on, this line. <laughs> Let's get one more. Yeah. One more square dot. And there's number four. Oh no. <laughs> oh. Nope. <laughs> there's number five. Oh, I'm out of the market. It's Come just proving me wrong. It's proven. <laughs> it's proving me wrong. <laughs> One more. Come on. Don't fail me now. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. Look at that. We did it. And there's no like nests on the bottom on the All back. Right. I know. Brilliant. Yeah. Wow. There's better thread. I'm gonna yeah. re redo this because <laughs> look at <laughs> Not much left. Look, this was what was left. Wow. <laughs> Talk about awesome. Damn. It was played nice for you. It is. So I'm actually. Oh. I'm actually going to just do this. Do In this. five to seven minutes, Nancy's. That none wins. <laughs> I'm gonna pull this and I'm gonna lock that. And oops, put you over there. And I'm just gonna blind it with this. No, I better not use this shit thread. Yeah, no, don't mix it. <sighs> nope. I'm gonna do this. I do have to move these pins though because it runs. Oh, we have a new name that I've not seen before. Aloha DIY. Aloha. Aloha. Welcome out. Allowi. 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 
Welcome. Glad to have you. I'm so sorry if I butchered your name. It's the I English in me. I butchered it too. It's the Canadian in here. It's definitely a <laughs> name I have never seen before. We have had a lot of new people today. It's brilliant. Yeah. I saw we got a few yesterday as well. Pull up a pew, grab a coffee, grab a tea, grab a biscuit, and enjoy. Sounds like the dentist drill. So I'm going to <laughs> just wind three bobbins. That should be enough, you think, with all the yeah. coffee? Yeah. Okay. If it's not, I'll wind another one. But I, I got Why a feeling. Why Three Wee. is going to cut it. Good morning, Lise. Lise Good morning, Lise. Rube. Hey, Lise. Just sit them over there because the quilting is, I'm going to definitely go through a whole bobbin just in the quilting. Oh, wait, I got to. Um, DIY says hello. Uh, Alawi says hello. All right. Now I will attach these two and pull it through, and then I'll have to. I did the translation thing. <laughs> For what? Um, Alawi is speaking in the same language as uh, Om does. Oh, okay. Welcome, Alawi. Awi or Alawi? Or DIY. 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 We, we, may we call you DIY? Say. It's easier. Yeah. <laughs> we'll remember you then. Yes. Although we will remember the, the name. Oh. Nan says, don't forget the pastry. Yes, please. Oh, Cheryl says, good morning. Do you have a pattern for the strap basket you are using? I love um, it. Yes, I, I did a video on this, actually. Um, making this waste basket. <clears throat> trash and bowl. It's a little trash bowl, yes. And if I can remember, it was just last year. So I'll dig out that video and link it below unless Olivia wants to look it. I'm up. looking it up now. Okay. <laughs> if Olivia finds it, she'll link it for you, Cheryl. Yes, I do have a video on this. And I do tell you what size. I believe I cut this circle off. I, I just took a template offline that was actual size for this. And then I told you how much batting I believe I used. Hi. Hi. Thank you. And I believe I used. Where's that was Jeff? Please. Oh. And then I have this little magnet on it. Actually, I love. I got a bunch of new magnets. Yeah. I, I like to put on here. I love um, those. Look at these little heart magnets that came in my sew sampler box. So I my, just, box. my box. Oh, my box. They're my so box. My box. <laughs> I have got to get in before she does. Oh, was hey, she sure. do that, Jeff? Those got little tiny fibers. It's like fiberglass. Oh, yes, please don't let her chew that. I got those to put on. These things that suck on my scissors. I don't use them. I could just hang them off of my little garbage bowl. Making masks again. No, we don't want that one. No. Farmer's wife, no. And this chair is actually to clean my eyeglasses, which I think I'm going to do because they're covered in fuzz. And I could see them, little specks. So, yeah. The little specks drive you nuts, don't they? They do. They drive me wacko. <laughs> anyway, yes. So if she finds it, if not, 
uh, go to the search bar on my page and type in uh, garbage bowl and see if that comes up, uh, Livia. Yeah, um, in the right area, but there's also ones that say finishing up sewing project, projects. No, that this was last year. My yeah. husband made me a pumpkin up, uh, trash bowl. Could be garbage bowl. I think I called it a garbage bowl or trash bowl. I can't remember now. One or two. I have a video for that. Yeah. And then I made me my matching um, clip holder for my Wonder Clips. I got a matching to this, and I did do a video on this as well. So I like my little purple. Um, I think my, actually you made the trash bowl after you made that bowl, didn't you? Yes. Yes. In because that I one made, video. I made Mary one and sent it to her, remember? Yeah. I made Mary the red and black trash bowl. Yeah. She loves it. Yeah, I'm fetching. Oh, Tiana. Who's opened the door, the gate? No, she can't. Jeff come home and she decided to come in here and dig in my garbage. Oh, she can't have that. No, and I put it in a plastic bag because I feel like this this stuff has um I feel like it has fiber. Fiberglass, in it. yeah. Yeah. Fiber, fiberglass, yes. <clears throat> Working on it. Okay. All right. I think I can find it for you real quick. Hang on. Be still my heart. Uh, I get distracted by uh, that's making a hanging kitchen towel. <laughs> I have to read everything. You've got so many cute things. There we are. It's a fabric garbage basket. Working on fabric bowls and garbage bowl out of fabric. Yep, this is the video here. Let me just go through it quick. Yep, because this is the one I made for Mary, the red and black. I, I see the fabrics. Yep, browns, yeah. Yeah, because I made her, yep, there we go. This is both. Let me see. Is this the garbage bowl? No, and plus it's a puff quote in here. Yep, that was Mary's garbage bowl. So here it is. It's got the garbage bowl, a puff quilt. You found it? Yeah. Saturday. <laughs> Honest. Oh. <laughs> the one I was just reading off? Yep. Okay. Very good. Oops. We aim to please. Yep. Let me pop that chat. Go back yep, to that's the world. one. That's the one I made the red and black one for Mary. Yes. Yeah, and I think I made her a matching um, thing for her clips too, like mine. Not the garbage, but but I like my garbage bowl. It's our pleasure, Cheryl. You also made a one where the corners are turned down, and you've got a stud in each corner. You made that one as well. Yeah, I know. Plus, I made a pop coil down there. Yeah. We aim to please, Cheryl. Oh, I need some more pop. Oh, it's on grumpy a bed. I'd have to say this is much better thread. Well, yeah. Oh. Patsy had it. That's why it's better. 
She took your good stuff and left you with it. No, I gave it to her because she was looking for red thread, and I had this brand new one that I never even used. And I told her this would match the silk nice, and it died. It did. Cheryl says you are very talented. Thank you, Cheryl. We keep telling her that all the time. She doesn't take any notice. Tomorrow we're we're gonna design a fold up. Um, oh shoot what's the matter i won't be live tomorrow i'm sorry i got my grandkids tomorrow and yeah, yeah. my grandson's birthday party oh um, okay we gotta put some wood on their side yeah tomorrow saturday weekend yeah yep. yeah my i gotta take my grandchildren to to Seth's birthday party. Oh, Seth's a 13 year old. Yep, he's 11 years old. Oh, let's start off with 13. Growing up. Yeah, they don't stay kids very long. <laughs> done done and dusted There's four done and these four will go just as fast with this kind of quilting <laughs> <laughs> I love this color red this is a very I would say very Christmassy color but a very sh striking red for Christmas Okay. Hey ladies, there's Ruby's Facebook page and Ruby's YouTube channel. If you go on the YouTube channel and click the videos, you will see all of her designs and creations. Right, Grumpy's messaging me. What's he got to say now? Oh, he has to stay laid down four hours after the lumbar puncture. Didn't say when they were getting it. Okay. The what puncture? Lumbar puncture. That's where they take the fluid out of your spinal cord. That's your lumbar region. Oh, boy. Yeah. <laughs> well, if he falls asleep, they'll know about it because he snores like a truck. Maybe I should just keep him in overnight. Then I'll, I'll, I'll worry, but not as much. I don't know. I pulled my thread out. Uh oh. Yeah. I don't enjoy doing that. something my grandson would do sit off to the side and just put little pulls on it <laughs> another one bites to dust and another one down and another one down another one back to dust <clears throat> oh dropbox wants me to sign in thank you Okay. okay, come back here for the piddle.
And another one bites the dust. Oh, look at that, perfectly cornered. <laughs> what, my corners? Yeah, perfectly. Diagonal. I know. I'm so good, it makes me sick. It makes us sick more like, because we can't keep up with you. Oh, come on. No, my name's not Eileen. Eileen? Mm -mm, mm -mm. Yeah, come on, Eileen. Oh, I swear. <laughs> I really like that song. Yeah, yeah me I too. too. Don't forget, ladies, hit that like, hit that I've share. I've done so many corner-to-corner -corner shit that I, I can... It's automatic. I, yeah, it's yeah. not... I don't need to mark my diagonals. Plus, I have the help of my little tape down there. Yeah. Martha, Nan wants to know, Martha, are you doing peyote stitch for your bracelet? No, it's a tubular spiral. And it's looking pretty darn good. I've got about a little over an inch done. <laughs> it takes a long time to do this one. Did you find your jigsaw blades at Wally World? Yes, I did. Oh, good. The wheat. No excuse now. Get done. She's beaten. She can't. Get done or get wrecked. Yeah, this might just be a beating day. Although Michelle said she'd come over and help me, but I'll get up and get some stuff done. and I think I, I can probably get that board stuff. myself is not as linty as that other stuff okay because so this red doesn't have a whole bunch on a fiber on it like the black did <laughs> if you remember how night nightmare that was yeah oh no i gotta take that horrible iron tablet yeah. you gotta take what the horrible iron tablet. Talk What's about that? gag reflex. So, um, well, I'll uh, mute if you do. Don't worry, I'll up here. And with this being anemic, um, low on iron in my blood. Oh, those iron pills, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Very packed. Yeah, but I've got that song stuck in your head, haven't I? Yeah, thanks. <laughs> You're welcome. Doesn't seem like she really cared either. Yeah, I like that song. At least it's not a little shark or baby shark or the wheels on the bus. Yeah, right. <laughs> I stick the YouTube on the TV, go to the children's bing bong, and just play it all day. All right. These are all done. Wow. Just like yeah. that. Just like that. Just like Tommy Cooper. Just like that. Okay. Not like that. Like this. There's two. Another two, three, and four. Okay, those are good. Uh, well, you've missed the red one out of the top one. What? Oh, there it is. Right, sorry. Count. Yeah. All right. Okay, so these here, we are going to stitch it all the way around. And it doesn't matter which direction that stuff is? Nope. 
Okay, facing all, facing away. Yeah. We're gonna cool. Start, we're gonna draw, we're gonna stitch around an eighth of an inch all the way around using a number three millimeter. And of course it moves. I probably should have pinned it. Yeah, pins for amateurs. <laughs> right? Look at this. That is like huge. huge it's the material. Thing. Yeah, it's thank God for big pieces. Rip, rip, rip. Rip. Yeah, little ripper. Yeah. <laughs> Next time I'll pin it. The next one I'm definitely going to pin because that's got more layers. <laughs> We're going to quilt that. So this one. That is perfect. This will go. Nan loves the red color, Ruby. Yeah, I love it too. It's pretty. All right. We're pinning pin, pin, pin. Hi, Bob. Bob's with us, ladies. Hi, Barb. Bar. Wow, all righty then. All righty then. taking a little break. Uh, Bob says heading back to Michigan in a, about a week, Martha. Oh. Oh, sweet. Where are you at now? You live in Michigan? What's or the you deal? visiting? I'm gonna draw on the backs yes, with this friction pen. Hi, Oliver, Barbara. How are Hiya, you? Hi, Barbara. Hi, Barbara. Oliver. Wow. Been a little while. She is making a tea cozy. A pot cozy. Sorry, tea cozy. Did I do one and a half or two inch yesterday? Can I see? I think I did two inch. Okay. Didn't I? Uh, I'm going to do two. I think that's what I did. She's making a set of ball cozy finger mitted gloves. No, I think I did one and a half. Yep. So I'm not going to bother to iron that off right now. One and a half inch lines. Because I know I fit a small one here and that one didn't work. Going back to see my girls before it turns cold. Ah. Uh, and where are you headed to? In Michigan. 
Good old Michigan. All right, yep. It was one and a half inch. Cool. Let's make sure I don't screw it up when I sew it. I should have erased those lines. After the corner, uh, from corner to corner, go one and a half, one and a half, one and a half, then do two. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna, I would. I'm going to mark those lines just so I don't do that. Yes, Barbara, it is red. Not that one either. Okay. And Bob says, Farla. Fly Rock and Lake Orion, Martha. Fly Rock. Huh. I know Lake Orion, but I've never heard of Fly Rock. I guess that's a part of the state I haven't uh, looked around at yet. Yes, it's a pretty red, Barbara. Oh, my God. Sorry, not Flat the, Rock. Not the same. Shh. <laughs> flat rock, flat rock. Okay. Same place, just different pronunciation. Dang fingers can't type right, I swear. Yeah, I've got sausage Happens fingers. For me all the time. Why is it writing like that? Because you wanted to write the other way. I'm going to grab a new one. Look it up. that one. Oh, that sounds better as well. Didn't work. Um, one and a half. Okay, this is not working. Oh. <sighs> Scrap fabric. I gotta get not working. It's been too old. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Something. Bob, my phone likes to try and guess what I'm trying to say and put in all the wrong letters and words totally. Oh, my God. Friction pen, don't do this to me. Damn you, bitch. Why now? Why is this one giving me a headache? It might be running out of ink. Where's my other friction pen? I have three of them. Here's another one. Run away with a spoon. There we go. Oh, fuck. That's four books in this way, Joe. Um, why is it doing this? Wow, what a mess. I just need the wine. <sighs> what a mess. Oh, uh, Martha, are you listening? Barbara Oliver says, my husband showed movement in his arm yesterday, so I made me something to hold his arm off, off the bed so he can work on moving it. That is wonderful news, Barbara. That's very nice news. I think it's time for some new friction pins. Yep. Oh, look, the back of this didn't even get touched. And that got sewed. Wow. Mm -hmm. How? And the reason it didn't get sewed is because it got folded. Um, so it's time for you to stand up, baby. Sorry? So it's time for you to have a stand up. Yeah. And you're getting frustrated. No, I'm not frustrated. It's just that friction pen frustrated me. Yes. All right, now, yeah, I said I was going to take a break and I never. Yep. 
I know. I hate when you're you're crapped and it's like I needed a break and you just keep going and going and going. I know. That's why I like to remind you. I do it too. A lot. Yes, mm -hmm. I know you do. So I'm I'm not the only one. Nope. All you ladies do it. You get so intent on what you're doing. I'll yeah. just finish this corner. I'll just finish this stitch. I'll just finish yeah, this Yeah, I am bead. just going to finish these quilting lines. Uh-huh. <clears throat> yeah, these All are right. the only quilting lines you'll see me drawing on this whole set. These guys. Cool. And even my friction pens aren't working. i got to order some new ones. Yep. Because these are pretty shitty. They shouldn't be working like this. Wouldn't your blue-pink one do it? Yeah, but I like the friction because it just irons out. Yeah. The other ones you have to scrub with a wet cloth. Ah, okay. Yeah. We well, could oh, wash them. good news, Barbara. It's very good news. Yeah. There's always hope. Where there's a will, there's a way. Yes. As my father used to say. Yep, I think that's a traditional sentence. There's a will, there's a way. Yeah, I did do one and a half inch lines because I remember my quilting lines will end up in the middle there. So, okay. Need a mess. After your break. Yep. Yes, mommy. There you go. Good girl. Ah, this coffee. It's intermission, so ladies. It's intermission. Yep, go potty. Go make get a drink. Popcorn, get your peanuts. Go to the store. Get a cake. Go, get, <clears throat> go to the go store. Get your popcorn. <laughs> Nan, has your pastry turned up yet? My husband went for a pastry ages ago and he hasn't come back yet. He's ate it on the way home. Mine would have. So I've got to find a good video on how to use the Galaxy Pattern Keeper. Okay, Barbara. So, Bob, will he be in Flat Rock for a week, a couple of weeks, or just a flying visit? That's the end of the needle. Yeah, it was the <laughs> needle inside the skin. <laughs> it stood right up in my thumb. Oh, wow. She's going to be there for a month. Oh, Nan, you kept that quiet. She's already had her pastry and she didn't share. Bummer. I know. Bum er.
Oh, they fed him dinner. Oh, that's nice. Oh, oh yes, Bob, definitely. I got up at 6 a.m. You can haul stuff out there now. Um, Maybe sometime today it's going to be a nap. I already like had a one. Grilled cheese sandwich. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Grilled cheese. Nice. Mm -hmm. On a Christmas plate. I am the book. Let's see. Well, they've given Grumpy a meal, so where's mine? <laughs> Don't you have cheese bread in tomato soup? Cheese bread? Not cheese. Dippy bread. Um, to be honest, Ruby, I haven't been eating because I'm just not hungry. Mm -hmm. I've lost my appetite. Olivia, you're a diabetic. You can't just skip eating meals. I know. I know. And I said, if I don't feel hungry, just have a little bit. To take yeah. half of my insulin, I, I I do know, and I will go and have some soup soon. You should eat something. All right, I will be back. I will go make soup, so I don't get shouted at. I can't deal with that. No, <laughs> eat. Well, hurry up! Oh wait, he's talking to me again. I can't go yet. <laughs> Oh, they've even given them a pudding. Apple pie and custard. Wow. Right, I will be right back, ladies. Yep. Go we'll away. Yeah, she should eat something. This not eating and diabetic is absolutely not good for her. And you know... A good way for her to get some iron is eat potato skins. They're loaded with iron. So is liver, but oh, I wouldn't recommend that. Anymore. Oh, Iron nose. I'm not even feeling really hungry, really. Okay. All right. We're going to be needing high iron. I want to get rid of the black stuff. So that's going to go there. I'm going to go there. That's going to be our pot holder. I can't wait to see what materials you got in your new order. Oh. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Free shipping. Wow. That was something. 
shipping. Yep. And the reason I got free shipping is you have to spend 162. Okay. My order was 200 and something. Then I got 20% off of that. So it brought it down to 176. Plus I had to pay tax. So I guess they um, pay my taxes in advance for you for custom charges. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yep. So what did you order? Batting. Yes. And all kinds of, two kinds of, or two kinds, oops, wrong side. Um, <clears throat> several colors of fabrics. Oh, wait till you see the Christmas one with the mittens. Oh, it's so cute. Okay. This little guy is done. So let me get my thing. Should I square this up? Actually, I'm going to attach. No, I can't attach that yet. Yeah, let's do this. Let's make our binding. And we will bind our pocket. Then we'll attach it and then we'll trim it all up and round all the edges and, you know, all the good stuff. Okay, that finishes off that pocket really nice. So we'll put some clips in it. All right, let's stitch in the ditch. All right, that's sewed down beautifully. Now we're going to attach it to here. And then we will trim it, it's like straighten it all up. Just, oh my God, I sewed everything with. You what? Huh? Huh? With my three, three millimeter stitch. little BB up. Okay, so we want it to be, you know, we want everything to be hidden inside of the binding. So I think trimming it down that much is pretty good. Want all my edges to be hidden. So you want to check the back side too to make sure everything will get hidden inside the binding. <clears throat> you know. <clears throat> The reason you have to do this is when you quilt stuff, it gets distorted. It, I don't care how careful you are. 
how diligent you are, it gets distorted. And you should always, if you're binding something, you should always clean up your edges. Look at how pretty. Now, we've got to round our corners. So, what are we going to do with <coughs> What should I use? Hmm. And what would be really cute is if you made a set of them and you had the plain color like that on the pouch itself, you could embroider their their net last initial mm -hmm. it'd be really cute personal mm -hmm. before you sew it up yep mm. okay i'm here i've got my soup i'm eating Happy Good girl, yes. Good. So I can't get shout of that, and I'll put a picture in um, kitten to prove it. All right. <laughs> I'm going to just restitch this. Because when I cut my corners, they came undone, and I like everything to be basted. So there's no getting anything out of there. Keep everything nice and neat. All right. Where are you? We need our red little thing in jigger right here. Before we put the binding on. So let's do this. That didn't even work. And let's grab our binding because we need to fold that. Where's my red piece? I just had it. Oh, it's stuck to it. Okay, we'll put you over there for now. We're going to iron this. And I'm not going to do this the way I did it yesterday because that was just too hard to turn it out. So we'll just do it this way. Take a little strap. Barbara is uh, Bob is loving the red. <laughs> Thank you, Barty. Yeah. Okay, that's ready to go now. Yeah, that is cute material. And this is from Free Spirit too. No, I don't know how much binding. So I left this. Uh, one solid length of width of the fabric. So when I get it sewn on, I'll be able to tell you how big of a piece because what I need to cut off. So whatever I cut off, the rest of it will be because this fabric is 44 inches wide in wide width. So we'll see how long of a piece. I figured we'll do it this way by cutting one long strip. And then we can tell how how much we need. Okay. All right. So let's move this. Uh, let's find the center. Just put a little mark there. Finger press it. Okay. 
And then we're going to attach. Oh no, we gotta sew this. <laughs> gotta sew that shut. Okay. You want to get your stitching as close to the edge as you can. See? All right. Now we'll put this little baby here. Oopsies, wrong way. Gotta go this way. Pretty sure that's my center. I don't even see it anymore. There we go. Now I see you. So put the this side up so when it gets flipped up, this this here sits flush against the wall. There's my center right there. I think that looks about good. Let's have a little look see. I gotta mark that. <clears throat> That's gonna drive me nuts. I can't see the fold. There we go. There we go. And there we go. Do that. Now, I am just going to take this over here and tack it down. So when we put the binding on, this is going to fold up over the binding, and then we'll just stitch it down with the binding when we stitch the binding down. And then you'll have a nice little loop. <clears throat> Here we go, loop de loo Here we go, loop de la Here we go, loop de loo on a Saturday night. All right. Now, I am not going to cut myself short like I did before. So... We're going to just sew this quarter of an inch all the way around. All the way around. Yes. And I'm going to start right by my pocket and I'm going to leave the rest. This actually, I'm going to start just past my pocket for now. <clears throat> And you got to kind of work it. I'm going to turn my stitch length down to get easily around the corners. And strip it around. Careful. 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 And then we did it. This would go nice with somebody who has a red KitchenAid. Yeah, really. Yeah, red kitchen. My girlfriend Kathy had a red one. Okay. They got a good deal of coals on it. Now, where my pocket is, there's a thread there. I'm going to back stitch just a little bit. Extra security. Okay, coming up to my curve. That so it doesn't bunch up. I do not want it to pleat. And it wants to pleat. And we're not going to let it. 
So I, I would have to say keep the whole width, length of the fabric because this is a nice size to, do, to work with. I'm not quite lined up. Line up the two sides. Like so. What? And I'm just going to draw a pin mark right there and there. And I'm going to sew it. <clears throat> but I am going to clip it all the way down because if these sides line up, then I know I have my fabric straight. And you're going to do the same over here. No crinkles. I'm not worried so much about that. Okay. Let's take it over to the machine and sew it up. It's a very tight little area. But I did it yesterday and I'll do it again today. that in there and then I don't gotta worry. Just gotta worry about pulling this straight underneath. Come on, you're giving me a headache. Thank you. All right. Get it straight. <laughs> Job. Let's hope we did good. Trim it down a quarter of an inch. And then you want to kind of press these open so that your binding sits flat because it's pretty thick right there. So you just finger press it. Don't even worry about ironing it with the iron. So as long as you can get it flattened open and then fold it back up and there you go everything is perfect now we will continue singing <laughs> So, for my corners, I really don't want to snip too much off or my binding will pull in. So, just make sure everything is pretty straight around here to flip over your binding. That looks pretty darn good. And that's got a little bit of overhang. This will prevent your binding from pulling around the corner nicely. Okay. Much nice. Very nice. Snippy, snippy thread. Yeah. Yo, grilled cheese sandwiches getting cold, Ruby. I know. Mm hmm. She knows. Now we want to pin that right there. I know. Because. I know. I 
Well, she complained I didn't eat. Okay. Hey, back. <laughs> I'm not going to complain. Good, good, good. I'm eating. I'm eating. I'm sick of it already. Can I leave the rest? <laughs> no. You cannot. I've done half of it. Nope. No can do. So your corners might pucker a little. So what I just do is just fold it over and make a little little pinch to make it flat. Like it's mitered. It looks just fine. Just in case. It wouldn't uh, look anything but good or fine. Oh, you'd rip yeah, it. it. looks like it's <laughs> mitered. So yep. it's Ouch. That's the end of the needle, Martha. Mm. No, I moved and my body's like, oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, I know. Yeah, I, right? I sit on the couch. We're going to sit outside today. Oh, cool. In a cool, rainy day. Oh, in your gazebo. Yes. Yes, we haven't been in there for since June. It's been just too hot here. It's been yeah. too hot everywhere for anybody to enjoy any of this summer. Yes. Like, I couldn't even stand it at camp. Oh, my God. I was sitting in my vehicle cooling off more than I was sitting outside. And I all the that. smoke. And all the smoke. I tried to hook up with the girls, but I had horrible reception. That place has horrible internet. Yeah. Okay. So, this guy here, I want to pinch him so he's nice and snug like that, like a bug in a rug. So, that's going to be first thing I tack down. So, keep them together. Okay. And, and then hit the other side. But she will. She will. What, Martha? Pray you hit no, the then. other side. I will. I have a hard time with binding. I've tried making pot holders. My binder, I kept missing the back edge. I just, whatever. Okay, but that's why you take the front and stretch it over and just make sure it's past, it's yeah. past that quarter inch or you're not going to snag it. Oh, they've made Stuart sign a disclaimer, so it shouldn't be long. What's a disclaimer? Uh, if anything happens form. under, yeah, if anything happens under anesthetic, they are not to be held responsible. Blah blah oh, blah blah. Do that here too. Yeah. To die. Yeah, I don't think that's fair. We should have to sign that shit. Right? You're in my, you know, I'm in your hands. I ain't gonna, you know, if you screw me up, you damn right I'm gonna sue you. Well, you won't because you'll be screwed up. Look, but... at, look at how beautiful this is. Well, you Got can't because you just signed a disclaimer. Yeah, you can't do anything. So I always just fold it over, check, and make sure everything got snagged. My nice little fold there. My little pleat, as you will, if you will. Oh, yeah, Ida. Let's hope it? nothing happens there, Barbara. Okay, back stitch at the pocket, you know, for the openings. After doing all that work, you don't want anything falling apart. Well, they've told him visiting is between two and three, and he's allowed one visitor only. When? Uh, visiting hours is between two and three. And each patient is allowed one visitor total. Like, how long is he keeping them? Are they keeping him for? 
it's, I think it'll be overnight now because it's yeah, half past five. Yeah, they find something. He's probably staying. Um, but I mean, it's half past five. Thanks for telling me the visit now is between two and three. It's like two and a half hours late. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let's get rid of the little lumpy thing. Yay, Lola. Make sure I don't have any threads. I really love this. Color. It's cute. I love it. Love, love, love. So there's the red pot holder. Yay. And I love the way it's going to hang nice and straight. Yep. And, and that's all you do is you just click it, clip it into the back of the binding and flip it up and it'll stay up. And you can put your other bits inside the pocket. <coughs> that's where my things will be going. Yep. All right. Let's work on those next. Ooh. And you're making these to sell at the craft fair? Yes. Cool. That's if people leave you alone to sell them and they don't want to order them. Right. It's all good. Yeah. All right. So those are done. Sorry. Actually, I've got to move those because I am going to have to iron. So let's bring the iron Have back. you made sandwich? Sure. Okay. So what you're going to do... So these two together. Oh, what am I doing? Right sides together, Ruby. And we're going to use a quarter inch spoon. All right, ladies, I'm done. What? I'm done. I've finished. I've eaten. Good. <laughs> Oh, I want to sleep now. <laughs> oh. Good stupid movie. Oh, be right back. Yep. Okay, these are extras because we don't need the hose. I cut too many of these, I think. Yeah, one, two, and one and two. <laughs> and those are extras. I have that marked down long. This couldn't have anyone on my own for four weeks. Sure what I had cut yeah. some so what you're gonna do is press the seam open. Ow. Press them open and you're gonna fold them. Match them back up. Hey, Pamela. Hey, Pamela. That's for one. This is for the second. One. She made that pot holder up with the finger things. She did? Where did Ruby No, she's, I'm telling her you. Oh. Uh, it's linked below, Pamela. Her name is Crafty Patty, and the link to the video where you get this pattern is below. Below the description box. There's one. The pot holder is my own design. I never copied anyone for that. I mean, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to make a pot holder. <laughs> right? With a pocket. 
I'm back. Sorry about that. Welcome back. You know, if you just press your seam to the red side and then flip it over, it's the same as finger pressing, ain't it? No. I have to press these open because Too it, bulky. Makes it, it makes it easier to fold it back in half and line it up at the top. You see? Easy peasy. Now, I'm top stitching them. Again, on her video, she does not top stitch her finger things, but I'm top stitching mine. And I'm top stitching them at an eighth of an inch, three millimeter stitch line. In fact, she doesn't top stitch anything. But I don't like anything that's, I don't like stuff that's not finished with a top stitch. It looks neater. <clears throat> exactly. Yes. That makes it finish. And especially considering that these parts show. Yeah. Martha, look at how good this thing cuts. Yeah, it really works. Saw that yesterday. Cool. Yes. Okay. Great. All right. So I believe I'll be putting the finger things this way. No. I think we're going to have them this way today. And the red side out. Yeah. That's okay. Just like that. All right. Just like that. Okay. So what we're going to do first is... Since we want this one out, this is our main fabric. We're going to lay these out like so. Then you're going to put your backing down because this is the part. Oh, wait. Do I want this this way? Which way is going to be touching the heat? Because if it's the, the white and red, it'll be showing the um, burn marks more. Yeah. Well... Whereas the red would kind of disguise it, hide it a bit. I want the red on top. Okay. So this is the one that we will uh, be, be doing. This okay. One. So pretty side up. In so bright first. Oh, right back again. On top. Oh, wait, no. Ah, I get it. I get it. I get it. Okay. I, I forgot. 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 I want this showing. So this is how this goes. So you put this on first. So they look like that. Actually, I think the red is going to look better and stand out more on this. So... Frig it. Okay. I'll get it. I'll get it straight eventually. Yes. So we're going to do red side up. Right? Like that. That's the way I want it. I want my view over. I want line this up. Perfect. This one. And where's that? Oh, jeez. They're in my hand. It's as bad as putting Hi, Barb. Back. Have fun with the oil change. Have fun, Barb. Thanks for coming. Pamela, are you working on anything? All right. That. Like that. Now, I forget, I forget how she layered, how I laid these. Oh, right. Now this. Should all match up. Bye, Bob. Sorry, the, the son was asking about daddy. 
<clears throat> now the thin slate goes against this lining. And I remember. Yeah. Jigsaw well, puzzle. Well, it matters in the way you layer this because this has to be touching where you grab with your fingers. Yes. yes. And this part is just the inside guts. I don't think it ended up here. Okay. Now, so let's clip this. Especially here. I don't want my little pockets to... Oh, Pamela says, it's a three dudes quilt, but I'm changing it up a bit, working on a video. Oh, cool, Pamela. Nice. Ruby's got a squeaky chair like I've got. <laughs> It's not Ruby making funny noises. It's a chain. <laughs> a three dudes quilt. Yep. Never heard of it. Okay. That's one done. Yep. I'm getting told off by the sun so he can go on ignore for now. You're getting told off. Yeah. That really? because I had a funny turn this morning, I should have rang him. He would have come straight from work. Oh. Pamela says, but I really want to make some pot holders like Ruby. Well, you've got enough material to make a, a quilt. You can make many pot holders out of that. Yes. Start making them, Kamala. You're good at sewing. I've seen you sew. It'll only take like up one day. And then when we open it, that should be our pockets right there, right? Yep. Okay. Yeah. Check in with you. <laughs> okay. All now, good. Let's sew these quarter of an inch all the way around oh sorry no start over here we've got to leave this part open or we're not going to be able to turn our work so yes for sure that's what i'm gonna do get going go for it blame ruby And I'm just back stitching where it's yeah. Yep. And I'm gonna back stitch these. Remember what happened yesterday? Um you cut it off. Yes, I nicked it corners. Yeah. Okay. See, I did watch it this morning. I don't have something to do while I was waiting for you to come live. <laughs> to backstitch where the flaps are. <laughs> now just checking to make sure we got it all. We did. Yes. This pot holder is adorable. It is adorable. Okay. 
It's always got to run out of thread at the worst times. Okay. Oh, yummy. Thread on sandwich. Lovely. <laughs> I'm not even going to eat that. <laughs> All right. I'll show you about the sandwich. <laughs> I'm done. Okay, I couldn't leave half my soup. In this project, back stitching is your best friend. You know? Yep, yep, yep. Over. Make sure you caught all your layers, which we have. Clipping. Take and down the bulk. Yes, I'm going to trim down the bulk for sure. This uh, batting never cuts nice and straight because it pushes down on the back. Okay, so there's one. Looking cute. Oh, no. Nan says, here I go, getting my laundry laundry chores done as everyone is visiting. Oh, no. Is that a good thing or a bad thing, Nan? Is that an excuse? Oh, I've got to go and do my laundry. You're here. <laughs> okay. When you turn it, you take one red piece and your, your things, your batting and your... And, so bright. That's the part you're going to turn out. Oh, how cute. Because that's the part that's going to touch the hot, the hot pots. Ah. I understand now. Yeah. Ribs. Sure. Spine, leg, Ribs. arm. <laughs> this is the part that's going to pick up the hot pots. Yep. Yep. So let's get Mr. Stickity and push these out. I don't know. Flamingo tool. My flamingo. I don't know which way to work it. No. I need to go between the battings. There we go. And push. Good. Give a nice clean. 
point. Now, when she makes these, she does not top stitch the outside of them, but I, I do. I just think it looks nicer and it finishes it off. And when you wash it, it's not going to be a disaster. Yeah. Right? And it's just a neat cut all together. Flip it this way. Straighten all this out. We're going to stitch that down briefly in a brief moment after we flip this one out. So you take one fabric that's against your insubrite, take that, and that's where you turn. That's where you start turning it out. Right like that. Nan says, good thing I have you guys for motivation. <laughs> Nan, our motivation is, no, sit down with us, have a cup yeah, of coffee. that's my motivation. <laughs> Why do it today when you could do it tomorrow? Exactly. Okay. Most so, definitely mine. Definitely Martha's, yes. Martha's motivation. Yeah, I'll do. I'll get done when it's done. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Unless someone's coming, then it's quickly get it done. You're going to have to kind of get your fingers in there and give that a nice little snuggy pull. And then we're going to stitch this at quarter inch. Oh. And you're going to double stitch it. So you're going to get close to where you stitch. Because that is going to have a raw edge. But it's not going to be a bad one. Because we're going to pink it. Ooh. And I do not have zigzag on this machine, so I can't zigzag it. So I can use my pinking shears to clean the edge up. And that will be that. Nice. No fraying. Love it. I'm going to trim the corners, I think. these back I don't think I need to oh maybe I do trim up uh, we'll see I don't really want to trim those I don't have to yeah it's too bulky holy crap so I'm gonna use the pinking shears to trip clip off these corners These are not the easiest tool to use. They're so hard to use. For I bought these and never used them, and I couldn't remember where I put them, and I found them when I cleaned my craft room. <laughs> See, chores do work. <laughs> Shh, don't say that. Yeah, Nan will be running to do her laundry. Literally. 
Come on. Uh, after these few chores, then I can play and do my cross stitching. Okay, Nan. Oh, poor Nan. Get it done. I would hire you go, girl. I would just hire a maid. Yes, these definitely need to top stitch. Yes, be top uh, stitched. Uh, stop it from rolling around as well. Yes. After you spent all that time putting them together. <sighs> yeah. Pushing them all out. Like that is super bulky in there. But it can't be helped. A lot of layers in there. Sounds like my son's bringing my grandsons to see me. No. When? Anytime. <laughs> what do you mean? They want to make sure I'm okay. Those grumpies in hospital. Oh. All right. Oh, she's done one bas basket, one done, one to do. Okay. Here goes nothing. Very thick, bulky seams. even good for people with fat hands like me. There <laughs> we go. One down, one to go. Yep. Very bulky here. I can't even stress it. Bites the dust. Hmm. 
All right. I am going to give these a little pressy. These are so easy, so cute, so, so perfect for the kitchen. Okay, and we've got to clean them up. Some of the lint off. This dotting is not as linty as that other stuff. A whole lot. And then they will go inside our little pocket like that. Oh my gosh. That is adorable. No. Oh. I like it. I like it. Uh, I mean, it's, it's, a lot of, it's a lot of little pieces to cut, but it's so worth this. Like, this is so pretty to hang up in your kitchen. You know? Yep. I, I just love it. I really do. I can't stop admiring it. It just looks like it was store-bought. It really does. It looks literally store-bought. Exactly. It's better than some store bought ones. Yes. Yeah, it is because it's it. handmade. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Made with love. Made with love, yeah. Back, I can't say, is too professional, but who looks at that? That's the part that's going to be on the counter. You're going to stick your pot on there. Oop, I found a thread. All Barbara right. Oliver says that is beautiful, Ruby. Thank you, Barbara. So I guess I won't be with you guys until Sunday because I'm going to go now because I kind of got heartburn and that's why I can't eat that. No problem. I got to go take something for it. It's really uh, bad. Pamela says that's what I want to make. Yay. Well, you should make it. I gave all the measurements at the beginning, but I still am going to write it out and put it at the description box for the pot holder, the bowl cozies, but I am not gonna give you the pattern for this. This here, you have to go watch her video to get the pattern. The only thing she doesn't do is top stitch these here or all the way around, she just leaves it. And I think it looks ugly like that. So that's entirely up to you though. Your machine might not be able to take uh, the thickness, mine can. And I mean, it's going through very thin. It, okay, it's going through. It looks thick, but it's actually batting, and it does. It's not like the same as all fabrics. So the needle will punch through it very easily. Cool. So, Sunday, I'll be back to finish. Unless I don't know what time the grandkids are coming. If it's not till late in the afternoon, then maybe I can still go live and work on my bowl cozies, and write out the patterns. So here are the four bowl cozies, and then we have the big Pamela one. says, okay, perfect. Yes, I'm a top stitch girl. I can always use a walk walking foot. I never use my walking foot, and I do a lot of quilting and sewing. I ne when do you ever see me use my walking foot? And it came with my machine. I don't use it. And Captain Nancy's said. beautiful, Ruby. Thank you very much, Jen. So I'm going to be making a set for, and I'm going to package these all up really nice because you know me, I like to package stuff. Oh yeah, yeah. These are these are going to be displayed nice on my table, so they'll sell. Yep, yep, yep. I should have just made a whole bunch of these. <laughs> no, it's good to have a variety, though. Yeah, not always with the bowl cozies. Yeah. All right. All right. You guys, you guys have a wonderful blessed day. Thank you for the live, Ruby. Bye, everybody. Tell Bye. Them to tell Grumpy I'm rooting for him. I will. I All will. Right. Okay. Bye, everyone. Take care.